So today we're working in the garage, also known as the man cave, and working on loft ladders or staircases. Um, when I had, when the builders were doing the roof, I asked them to leave a very big hatch. Now, when we make a loft hatch, what we do is we cut this beam, we brace it across here, and it really doesn't matter whether you make that short or long how much of this beam is left because once it is cut it is cut so uh, I have left a massive gap in the roof so I've sacrificed a little bit of loft space um, in order to have a decent staircase rather than a ladder now I've already started this a little bit and we doubled up the roof beams but this bit is the one edge of the staircase that I put in yesterday so today I'm going to be working on trying to fit some sort of hinge in here and I've got some threaded bar to try and sort that out and then um, I've got some sort of massively bodged twisting bracket there to try and hold up that end I've also screwed it in temporarily um, in order to try and hold it up there but my idea is that a pull down staircase is better than a ladder it means we can get up into the loft without the awkward messing around that we have inside with tiny little loft hatch, awkward little balancing ladder and it's rubbish and you can't really use it as an upstairs, it is literally a loft which is a pain in the ass. So um, we're going to see how that goes. So we've moved on a little bit, uh, spent the other night working on it when I introduced this, then we managed to get the offcuts of 6x2 from the roof to fit in between the beams nicely. So that's come quite good. It lifts. So it does slot quite nicely into our large gap, which we talked about before. The, I think, 103 centimetres wide, and I can climb them without using any hands, but we will think of a way to do a handrail. At the moment, I'm scratching my head wondering if we can have a collapsing, raising style handrail down here. Um, hinges, I've just used 10 or 12 mil threaded bar. I managed to get them evenly spaced, curled the edges so that it sl slides over nicely. I've made the first step out of 8x2 because that is what I had, but that has meant that the overhang is slightly different to the next step down on the whole it works excuse the crocs works like a nice set of stairs and we do not need to climb it like a ladder which was absolutely what we were aiming for now we i am working on here this beam represents where i would like the roof because down here when you are climbing up this is we are not using this much space for our heads because we are too low. The ceiling is fairly high, two and a half meters or something. So as we pass through, I'm just offering this up as a way of, I will bridge over here with more flooring so that we can walk and store in this space. So we're not losing all of the space that it looks like we are from our massive loft hatch. So another evening has passed and I've bridged the gap as I was working on last time and that's working quite nicely, plenty of headroom and we have some wire rope and some normal rope, wire rope attached to our eBay winch which uh, didn't cost a huge amount and the switch here runs the lift. So that was another evening, so I think we're three evenings down now. There we go. It's coming together. And this puts a hardball back on. That has made it feel a lot more secure walking up. Certainly stops the kids panicking as they walk up that they're gonna fall through, um, which is actually really difficult to do um, on a staircase anyway, but it does make you feel like you might. Um, handrail didn't give, didn't go for anything folding and elaborate, only really runs halfway down, but it is the more dangerous half at the top. Um, and it is surprisingly 
reassuring just to hold on to that little something as you as we roll down and essentially that's it i'm pretty happy with how they've come out it's doing exactly what it was meant to do which was be a staircase and not a ladder so that we can use both hands to carry things up and not have to fight through a tiny ridiculous hole in the ceiling to get upstairs uh, the only thing I thought was being smart using a piece of 8x2 on the top but that completely messes the, th the th flow of your step um, having a different size step at the top so I wouldn't do that again um, so now I guess is Time to demonstrate what we have all been hoping would work. Well, I have. Um, so over here, as we said, if the controls, we now have a hook. No need to double the hook up. It is quite secure and quite within its abilities to lift just on one, one cable. So we just hook that onto the shackle. And then, as if by magic, we press and hold. And up they come. So you can see the handrail just folds up into the available space. There they are. Away. Leaving the garage completely free. So we can do everything that we would do in a garage.